The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean in the world, covering about one-third of the Earth's surface. It presents a vast expanse of water, and while airplanes frequently traverse this ocean for long-haul flights, you may wonder why they do not fly directly over it. We will be exploring the various factors and considerations that affect flight paths over the Pacific Ocean. 1. Great Circle Routes To understand why planes do not fly over the Pacific Ocean, it is essential to grasp the concept of Great Circle Routes. A Great Circle Route is the shortest distance between two points on the surface of a sphere, such as the Earth. When viewed on a two-dimensional map, these routes appear as curved lines. Airlines often prefer utilizing great circle routes to minimize fuel consumption and flight time. When planning long-haul flights, airlines often prefer to utilize great circle routes to minimize fuel consumption and flight time. By following the curvature of the Earth, aircraft can take advantage of the Earth's natural shape and reduce the total distance traveled. However, when it comes to crossing the Pacific Ocean, the direct great circle route between two points may not always be the most practical option. This is because the Pacific Ocean spans a vast expanse, and flying directly over it may result in longer flight times and logistical challenges. Instead, flight planners often consider other factors, such as safety, access to diversion airports, air traffic control coverage, and navigational aids when determining flight paths. As a result, Flight paths over the Pacific Ocean tend to follow coastal routes, hugging the coastlines of nearby land masses. By following coastal routes, airlines can ensure access to diversion airports in case of emergencies. These diversion airports act as backup landing sites if an aircraft encounters an unforeseen situation and needs to make an emergency landing. Additionally, Flying along the coastlines allows for better communication and coordination with air traffic control facilities, which are typically located near populated areas. While great circle routes offer the shortest distance between two points, they do not always align with practical considerations for long-haul flights across the Pacific Ocean. The focus is on balancing fuel efficiency, safety, access to emergency facilities, and efficient air traffic management. As a result, Flight paths often deviate from direct grade circle routes to follow coastal routes, providing a more practical and efficient option for crossing the Pacific Ocean. 2. Jet streams. Jet streams are narrow, high altitude currents of air that flow from west to east across the Earth's atmosphere. These strong winds can reach speeds of up to 250 miles per hour and significantly impact flight paths. Over the Pacific Ocean, the jet stream known as the Pacific Jet Stream or the Polar Jet Stream is particularly powerful. It is a fast-moving, high-altitude wind flow that generally flows from west to east, following a path across the northern Pacific Ocean. Airlines take advantage of these jet streams to reduce travel time and fuel consumption. When flying with the jet stream, the aircraft's ground speed increases, which means it covers more distance in a shorter amount of time. This can result in significant fuel savings and reduce flight durations. However, the precise location and strength of the jet stream can vary depending on weather patterns and seasons. Flight planners and dispatchers closely monitor weather forecasts and receive real-time updates to determine the most favorable routes that align with the jet stream. While jet streams can be advantageous for flights traveling in the same general direction, they can also pose challenges. The high speeds and turbulence associated with jet streams can sometimes cause discomfort for passengers and crew. Pilots are trained to anticipate and mitigate these effects through proper route planning and altitude adjustments. It's important to note that jet streams are not fixed and can shift in position and intensity. Flight planning takes into account these dynamic factors to ensure the safety and efficiency of flights over the Pacific Ocean. By analyzing weather data and considering the location and strength of the jet stream, airlines can optimize flight paths to take advantage of favorable winds and minimize the impact of adverse weather conditions. In conclusion, jet streams over the Pacific Ocean play a significant role in flight planning. They offer the potential for reduced travel time and fuel savings. By monitoring weather patterns and the position of the jet stream, 
airlines can adjust flight paths to optimize the benefits of these high-altitude wind currents while considering the safety and comfort of passengers and crew. 3. Safety and Emergency Considerations Safety is paramount in aviation, and flight planning takes into account several factors to ensure passenger security. When crossing the Pacific Ocean, airlines consider the availability of diversion airports in case of an emergency. These diversion airports act as backup landing sites if an aircraft encounters an unforeseen situation, such as engine failure or severe weather. To maintain a reasonable distance to these diversion airports, flight paths are designed to hub the coastlines of nearby land masses. 4. Distance and Fuel Efficiency While the Pacific Ocean is vast, flying directly over it may not always be the most fuel-efficient option for airlines. Aircraft need to carry sufficient fuel for the entire journey, including reserves for any unexpected delays or diversions. By sticking to coastal routes, planes have better access to airports for refueling or emergency landings, ensuring the safety and comfort of passengers. 5. Air Traffic Control Air Traffic Control ADC plays a crucial role in managing the flow of air traffic and ensuring safe separation between aircraft. Over the Pacific Ocean, where long-haul flights are common, ATC coverage can be limited due to the vast distances involved. To ensure effective communication and surveillance, flight paths often follow established routes that are within the range of ADC systems and facilities. 6. Remote Areas and Search and Rescue Flying over the Pacific Ocean means traversing vast stretches of remote and uninhabited areas. In the event of an aircraft emergency or a crash, search and rescue operations become significantly more challenging in these areas. By flying along coastal routes, planes remain closer to populated areas and increase the chances of prompt assistance in case of an emergency. 7. Wind and Weather Patterns Weather conditions, including wind patterns, play a significant role in flight planning. Over the Pacific Ocean, Weather systems can be highly variable and difficult to predict accurately. By following coastal routes, flight crews and dispatchers have easier access to updated weather information and can make informed decisions based on real-time data. This helps avoid adverse weather conditions and turbulence, ensuring a smoother and safer journey for passengers. 8. Navigation and Communication Navigational aids and communication infrastructure are essential for maintaining safe and efficient air travel. Along coastal routes, aircraft have access to a network of navigational aids, such as radio beacons, VHF very high-frequency communication stations, and radar coverage. These aids enhance situational awareness, navigation accuracy, and communication capabilities providing a reliable means of guidance and coordination for pilots and air traffic controllers. It is important to note that while coastal routes are commonly used over the Pacific Ocean, there are instances where flights do venture further out to sea. These situations may arise when the benefits of flying over the ocean outweigh the potential risks. For example, during certain weather conditions or to take advantage of specific wind patterns, Aircraft may deviate from the coastal routes and fly over the open ocean for a portion of the journey. Advancements in technology have also contributed to the ability to fly over the Pacific Ocean more efficiently and safely. Modern aircraft are equipped with advanced navigation systems, including GPS Global Positioning System, Inertial Navigation Systems, and Satellite Communications. These technologies enhance the accuracy and reliability of navigation allowing aircraft to fly more direct routes and make precise adjustments based on real-time weather and air traffic information. Moreover, the development of long-range twin-engine aircraft, such as the Boeing 777 and Airbus A350, has increased the range and capabilities of modern airliners. These aircraft meet stringent safety regulations and are designed to operate over long distances, including transoceanic flights. With their extended range and fuel efficiency, they can safely traverse the Pacific Ocean while adhering to safety standards and operational requirements. In recent years, there have been discussions and initiatives to explore the feasibility of polar routes, which would involve flying closer to the North Pole or the South Pole for certain long-haul journeys. 
These routes could potentially provide shorter flight times and fuel savings. However, implementing polar routes involves significant logistical challenges, including the need for additional safety measures and infrastructure improvements. In conclusion, while planes do not typically fly directly over the Pacific Ocean, flight paths are carefully planned, taking into account factors such as great circle routes, jet streams, safety considerations, fuel efficiency, air traffic control, search and rescue operations, weather patterns, and navigation and communication infrastructure. The decision to follow coastal routes ensures access to diversion airports, facilitates communication with air traffic control, and provides a higher level of safety and emergency preparedness. With advancements in technology and the capabilities of modern aircraft, the aviation industry continues to explore ways to optimize flight paths and enhance the efficiency of transoceanic travel. While planes do fly over the Pacific Ocean for long-haul journeys, flight paths often follow coastal routes instead of direct paths across the vast expanse of water. Factors such as great circle routes, jet streams, safety considerations, fuel efficiency, air traffic control, search and rescue operations, weather patterns, and navigation and communication infrastructure all contribute to the decision-making process for flight planning. By taking these factors into account, airlines can prioritize passenger safety, maximize fuel efficiency, and ensure effective management of air traffic over the Pacific Ocean.